Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we have another yoga talks. And today we're gonna talk about the breathing. You know, we, at the beginning when the yoga world coming to the, the West, it was about all about pranayama, the breath control. Now kind of the industry has been open more, so now we call it breath control, which it helps us to control our mind, to start meditation and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about what is physiologically happening in our body. And it's most simple that we think. I respect all beliefs and all ways of yoga, and some others have more involved, are more involved in the mystic of yoga, which is with bread, you connect more with the universe, with God, with um, the supreme, and that is fine. I think so we all have different beliefs. So I'm just gonna give you my point of view about the physiological part of you, of the breathing techniques and the breath work, pranayama. So first, we're gonna start with the simple things. What happens when you see a child crying or somebody is under stress? What do you say to that person? You say, take a deep breath. That's right. Yeah, with me. Perfect. So we know that knowledge. We know that, that if the people slow down the breath, it can calm down and it can clear the mind. So it's something very natural that we know. So what happened when we breathe in, slowly and breathe out slowly it helps us to move the blood circulation slower and that will help us to calm down the nervous system as easy as simple as that we can put it more mystic and more magic but physiologically it's just happening this the slow down of the breath the blood make the blood circulation go slower and the nervous system automatically relax, which is the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system. The only communication we have with our brain is our breath. If our breath starts to be slow and deep, when we are under stress and we are under pressure, the nervous system start to listen and start to cool down. Of course, when we have emotions or anger, observe your breath and your breath become very agitated and it really go faster, faster, faster. As well, when you are sad, observe your breath because your breath will be in different patterns. It will be faster, slow, or it will be shorter, the inhalation or the exhalation and longer as well, the inhalation and exhalation. So that's why it's important the control of the breath that's why it's important to learn how to slow down the breath now in yoga we have exercises as well who is gonna who are gonna help us to build up energy which is like a kapalbati which is really like a hyperventilating ourselves to generate heat and create energy so this is the most important part that we have to really can I understand and some people um, when you say oh meditation or relaxation a breath word they are not too much uh, confident with that but when we you really explain what is happening inside themselves and they practice they see completely different now me I live in Ireland and for example a lot of people um, swim in the sea which is really cold and they use a lot to the control of the breath so if you really think about it Everything we do, everything in our life is about our breath. It's important that during our life that we have a rhythm and a pattern of the breath that will help us to don't put under pressure our heart, of course, our cardio, our cardiorespiratory system. So let's try, okay? Now, during the breath as well, if you really observe your breath, you will notice that there is a little pause. That pose, sometimes if we extend that pose, it will help us as well to control our cells, our emotions, our length as well in our breath. This is more important when you are doing it, when you are really under pressure. You know what I mean? When you are really, the next time you are in a pressure, in a situation that it really stress you or you are getting angry, take a step back and take a couple of breaths. I remember years ago, they all, there was like a, it was like a, an advertisement or something. They always say like a, somebody was getting angry or something like that. And they say, 
take 10 breaths, slow and deep, and after, take actions, you know? So that is the importance of the pranayama or the breath control. So let's take a couple of breaths together. Just first, just close your eyes and observe your breath. Don't do anything. Just listen your breath and be aware of the patterns between inhalation and exhalation, if it's shorter, if it's longer, or if it's equal. Try to don't force the breath. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna be more conscious of that breath. And when you are more conscious of that breath, you feel that you control more the expansion of the lungs by expanding your rib cage. Let's take another breath. Good. So the breath is controlling by the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. If those muscles expand at the maximum, the rib cage will expand at the maximum. So that means it's more oxygen intake. And in the strain in the ex exhalation, it will be as well by the effort of the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. The intercostal muscles are the muscles between your ribs. So literally the diaphragm is like that. So when you inhale, it does this and the ribs expand, so the lungs can expand. We cannot control the lungs. We can only control these muscles to expand them and, and contract them. And when we exhale, the diaphragm come back to its dome shape and the intercostal muscles squeeze the ribs. So that's mainly help us to exhale. So when we concentrate on our breath, we help us ourselves to be more awareness in these areas. At the beginning, it's difficult. You know, at the beginning, we don't get it, but as much as we practice, so I highly recommend you to take one or two minutes every day. Just close your eyes, listen your breath. Let's go one more time, couple of breaths in your own time. So as you can see, as much as you concentrate on your breath, you concentrate to expand more the inhalation and exhalation. Another thing is important in the practice of yoga or any activity to help us to have a good posture is that if our body is curving, of course everything is collapsing into the, into the ribs. So what happened, the lungs cannot expand. That's why it's good to have a good posture and that's why it's good to come work our core muscles to allow the spine stay in the right position so the rib cage can expand as so highly recommend you if you cannot have your back straight when you are sitting of course you don't have to sit on the ground you can sit down on a chair if you cannot keep your back straight then you do these exercises lying down on your back or against the wall but it's really important that we don't do this breathing in this position because it's impossible for the rib cage to expand as everything is collapsing in the lungs, in the diaphragm, and of course in the ribs. So that's why it's important to hit this, have this posture, the right posture of the spine. And most of the time that the people who suffer from anxiety, sadness, look their posture. Their posture is like that. When you are sad, you are like that. When you are under stress, you are like that. So it's less oxygen coming so that's why we feel more, more, more under pressure. That's why to open our chest, to keep the right position, engage our core muscles, help us to not only to expand more our lungs, but also it, re it really release and open us and kind of give us that sensation of we are more um, strong and brave into the life. We have only one life and we need to live it with the positive and the negative. But if every time something negative comes and we feel devastated and we push us back, it's going to be a tough life. So that's why, if, yeah, we can have those moments, but as soon as you feel that those moments are getting heavy and doesn't allow to breathe properly, lie down on your back, sit down against the wall, or sit down with the back straight, close your eyes, and take a couple of breaths. 
if you know mudras you can take mudras any mudra you feel confident and just breathe and listen your breath so let's go one more time together close your eyes keep your back straight breathe in deep breathe out Try to breathe in and breathe out through your nose, which is the, this is the natural way to breathe. How you feel? It's working. So imagine if you do every day, just one minute. Don't try to do 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's not about the time. It's about the quality. Then you have the one minute couple of breath and that's it or also during your day try to keep this deep and long breath when you are driving when you are walking anytime so i hope you like it and it was helpful for you i'm sorry sometimes my english is a little bit funny i'm trying to do my best and thanks to youtube and the camera it helps me to improve more my english and my accent Thank you for coming and let me know if you, what do you feel, what do you think and what do you do as well with this breath control, if it's helping, helping you in your daily activities, if you're already practicing, just let me know if it's part of your life as well, this awareness and control of your breath. Remember that you can find us in Instagram in, uh, at Sacred Body Studio and just follow our courses at sacredbodystudio.ie. Subscribe, like, and see you in the next video.